What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome to Final Blade, a brand new hero collector that came out just this morning. So if you do want to download the title, I will have the links in the description below. Now, you guys know what I'm about to say next when it comes to covering a hero collector. A hero collector can truly only be as fun as the heroes that you can collect. And as you guys can see, this game is very Eastern inspired. So two points right off the bat from FG. I don't think there are enough Eastern inspired hero collectors on, well, actually there are a ton of them, right? Right. There, there's tons of them, but they're all terrible, all right? So they don't count. This one, however, is not terrible. So spoiler alert for the video. Um, as you guys can see, 2D art, very detailed when it comes to the character designs here as well. I'll show you a few other ones we have here. We have Activision Blitz in the house. We got this guy who has summoning jutsu. He has summoning jutsu. Voss, summoning jutsu. There you go, summoning jutsu there. So very cool characters, very detailed in all aspects. So, so far, so good when it comes to the heroes that you can collect. A couple of other tidbits when it comes to the characters in this game. Um, they can also awaken in this game as well. So the characters that you see now can actually look even more extravagant as they get more powerful. Obviously, I can't show you that in this video, but in the future, if I keep this game in rotation, hopefully I can show you that a little bit later. Also, when you first begin the game, you can also select your own five-star character from a list of about four or five so that's another good thing so right off the bat it's doing pretty good when it comes to characters eastern inspired very good details <laughs> you got summoning jutsu you got awakening powers so far so good let's jump over into combat so this is where it gets on FG's really good side. It gets on FG's lazy good side, I should say. So here are a few lazy features that FG just really enjoys in games like this. Number one, you got sweep tickets. I love me a good sweep ticket. I don't like to sit at my computer all day repeating the same stage over and over and over. However, in this game, you will run out of sweep tickets. So after you're out of sweep tickets, you also have repeat stage and you also have one of my favorite lazy features when it comes to playing a hero collector, continue battle. So if you're not familiar what what, what, what this will do for for you and your hero collecting extravaganza is basically what it happens here. The game will automatically go from stage to stage to stage, completing every single stage until you die or until you get to the boss stage and complete it. So basically what you can do, you can go over here, click continue battle, start, go get yourself a sandwich, go watch some Netflix, say hi to your girlfriend who you haven't seen in forever, come back and you'll have the complete story chapter completed and then you move on to the next one. Um, I really appreciate that, especially when it comes to playing a hero collector in the very beginning because usually you have way more power than you need so having to click next stage next stage is kind of just like tedium because you're not really your 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 team isn't being stressed out you don't really need to be there but you got to do it in a game like this the first five chapters once you've done your summoning and kind of leveled up your characters a little bit you can just do continuous battle and go through all of the early story chapters with no problem at all. I love it. I love myself a good multitask hero collector. So, and we'll talk a little bit more about that after we get towards the end of the video. So here we are in combat though, however, and this is where I got to take half a point away. I I'm sorry to say is that I do love the graphics. I like the detail, of the characters. I like the whole Eastern feel. However, combat is just a bit messy. Like the visual clutter here, kind of takes away from the game a little bit. All the characters that you're, you know, you're going crazy over and trying to collect, you don't really see them very well in all of this mess of visuals. So, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, it's mostly gonna be playing on auto for me. So does it really matter? Yes and no. I still like to be able to see my characters in action and you don't really get a good feel for that in this combat system, unfortunately. So that's number one. And as you guys can see, the continuous battle is moving on to the next stage. Loading times are pretty quick here as well. I don't know why I had to do that double loading, though. They could probably take that part out. And here we are. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about other features in the combat here. So you also have, and this is kind of the elephant in the room when it comes to this game, this little cute fairy over here doing all of your looting for you. Now, when you first begin the game, the game is going to give you an hour-long fairy and a 12-hour-long fairy very easily and very early on in the game. But eventually, you're going to get to the point where you do not have this auto-looting fairy at your disposal any longer. So once that fairy is gone, you have to manually click loot off of the ground so I don't know how to feel about this just yet because I don't under I don't fully understand the entire economy of this game just yet um, to give you guys an example when I played epic 7 I rarely ever click those chests when you know not an epic 7 basically has the same exact system as you go through stages if you if you're not manually clicking the chests, you're missing out on them you just don't get them but in epic 7 it wasn't really that big of a deal breaker for me at the time when I played so I don't know if this game has the same exact effect I don't know if the chests in this game are like you know you have to have them or you're gonna 
gonna get screwed or they're just kind of a nice to have. I don't know. Um, that's something that I'm gonna have to play the game a little bit longer to kind of understand the economy of the game as a whole to find out, is it a deal breaker to have this auto looting fairy, yes or no? So. Right now, undecided, but I'm sure if you go down in the comment section right now, there's probably going to be some people that have played this game over there in the Asian regions and kind of know the answer to that question. Um, if you do want to have the auto looting fairy, it will cost you about three or four dollars a month. So it's basically like a subscription almost. So that is that. So that, that's the combat, my thoughts on the combat, my thoughts on the characters themselves, and the auto looting fairy, of course. Um, I'll show you a little bit more here in combat as well. You also have your option to have ultimates as well. There's about, I would say about eight ultimates in total, um, maybe a little bit more, um, but basically you can equip an ultimate on your, your team here and you get to cast it once per match here. And like I said, depending on what you're doing in combat, you can switch out this ultimate for something that's a little bit more beneficial for your team, etc., etc. So after we're done with this one, I'll show you a little bit more of the gameplay modes. And of course, as we always do, we have to do some summoning towards the end of this video to see if we can get ourselves some cooler characters and also show you the upgrade system as well. But that'll do it. You can also kind of zoom out a little bit, zoom in, zoom out, get yourself a little bit, or you can get like really like into it and take off all the UI as well. So that's actually kind of cool as well. So that's that. Let's head on back over to the lobby and I'll show you what else this game has to offer. Final Blade, Guan's Ah, I missed it. So here is the opening screen here. Now, um, here is my clan. I, just, I decided just to make my own clan in this game. The Waifu Crew. Go ahead and apply. I got 20, 19 spots available. So there you go. Uh, when it comes to clans in this game, you have the option of a region war. Of course, you have a clan shop. There's a thing called clan raids where you can actually fight a boss. And in here, as far as I can tell, well, actually, let's just do it for the sake of the video. Let's just do it for the sake of the video. It looks as if you can bring nine characters with you. Let's see. Yes, you can, Obama. You can bring nine care. Okay, the visual clutter is about to get insane then. So I don't have nine characters leveled up, but here we are fighting our, the clan boss, Wukong. Sun Wukong has to be present in every Eastern-inspired um, MMO, hero collector, RPG, MOBA, any game, fighting game, whatever it is. There has to be a Sun Wukong. So very cool. Now, like I said, the game gets just like, you can't see anything. Nobody knows what's going on. Um, but I do like the fact that you actually have a mode where you can use nine characters. I don't think I've ever seen a hero collector do something like this before. Oh man, this is gonna last for two minutes. Oh, uh, hopefully he just kills us. If not, we'll just speed this up. Wow, we lasted a lot longer than I would expect, especially since I just started this game today. Um, I actually did pretty decent there. So there is Sun Wukong, the clan boss there. So very cool. So that's something that you can look forward to once you join the waifu crew. There you go. Nice little plug. The Shivering Dawn. There you go. There's a reset. You also get, um, this is stamina basically here. And this is something that you can use to go into the market and exchange it for other goodies. So there you have it. I, I like clan raids in this game. Not bad. Also, there's a thing called Clan War that will open up at level 5. So come join the waifu crew. Can't wait to have you. So that's that. Um, the market, we just kind of already talked about there briefly. Um, training this game does, and I can't really show you here, um, but basically, if you've seen things like this before, it's kind of like a passive training system. So I can assign a mentor to one of my characters, and that mentor basically bestows experience points upon that character for a set duration. Then they rest, and then you do it again. So not, nothing too crazy. Um, most of your experience is going to come from just grinding stages. Um, battle. So this is your daily resource grind. So of course, as you've seen in most of these hero collectors, there are different days for different types of resources so right now it's dark valley for monday and this will get you shadow assassin ultimate skills weapons sub weapons and enhanced materials for monday once again nothing too crazy there a little bit later in the future once i kind of cover this game again um because we will be doing an in-game video on this game um so once we get to level 20 i'll show you what raid bosses are all about destiny looks like some type of character specific stories which once again i'll show you in the in-game video this i found to be pretty funny so let's go ahead and do this one really quick this is basically a stage where you get money. You know, we've seen this once again in lots of different games. Um, but I kind of like this one a lot. <laughs> so check this out. This poor guy, he's just trying to get his goods from point A to point B. And I'm like, you know what? Uh-uh. Ain't gonna happen. So I'll go ahead and defeat his guards really quick. Get them out of the way and rush after his little wagon here. <laughs> like, I thought this was, like, ridiculous. Go ahead and zoom out a little bit. Catch up to his wagon. And then beat him down and take all... Wait, hold on. Oh, man, they're actually doing a lot better than last time. Let's see if we can't catch him. Come on, guys. Don't let that wagon get there. Hit him with the blizzard. 
not come off the wagon and he <laughs> scampers off. Like, that's a scamper. Like, I, I don't normally use the word scamper, but that scamper, that's what he did. All right, then I, of course, open up a higher difficulty. So the higher the difficulty, the more the gold. Pretty straightforward. So I thought that was actually pretty neat. Like I said, so far, so good. This game really appeals to my lazy side. It has really cool looking characters. Um, and the reason why I kind of bring that up, and I'll kind of explain that as we kind of go along to some more modes here. Um, we'll do some PvP just to kind of show you what it looks like. Um, in PvP, you actually have to just let the game decide who your opponent is. I'm probably going to get destroyed. Now, the reason why I like games like this in moderation is because I can't I can't play several active mobile games at once. Like right now, the active mobile game that I'm playing right now is Landgrisser. I can't play like Landgrisser, uh, Epic Seven, uh, Final Fantasy, Opera Omni. Like those are too many active games. However, I can play Landgrisser. I can play Destiny Child. I can play like Harbinger. Like I can play like one main active mobile game and then a bunch of games that are a little bit more passive. And this kind of fits that bill. So Final Blade, in my opinion, is a very good game for like your second or your third game that you play throughout the day and I just got destroyed in PvP you got Sun Wukong you got a clan boss with you that ain't fair that ain't fair pay the winner <laughs> so back to the lobby we go hopefully there's more skins for the fairies I mean you know whatever but Hopefully there's some more uh, type of fairy skins there in the future. So the game has an explore mode as well. Very straightforward and cliche when it comes to hero collectors. You send out a hero on a mission. They come back in 12 hours with goodies. As you get higher and higher level, you can send out more and more heroes. And then uh, last but not least, before we get into the summoning, there also is an endless tower mode, which once again appeals to the lazy FG continue battle. So when you start off your day and you're down on level, you know, floor one, you don't have to sit there and beat those super easy brain dead stages until you get to the point where you're actually, uh, you know, uh, uh, challenged. You don't got to do that. Just press continue battle. Once again, go watch some Netflix. Go see your girlfriend. Go feed your dog. Go water your plants. Do whatever you do. Except for that thing. Don't be trying to do that. This is a family channel. Um, so there you go. So endless tower. Very easy to do and very easy to knock out, even if you're playing other games. So pretty good so far. I got to say. Um, you know, I know there's going to be a lot of thought on this little looting fairy right here. So let me kind of show you what's going on here when it comes to that fairy. Um, so, oh, got 10 sweep tickets. So that's actually really good. To be able to use sweep tickets in a game like this feels very, very good. Um, so as you guys can see, as you're playing the game, you're, like I said, when you first begin, you're going to have an hour fairy. Then the game is going to give you a 12-hour fairy. Once you complete this stage, you'll get a one-day fairy, and then you'll have another one-day fairy. But eventually, you will run out of fairies in this world and uh, you're gonna have to really decide do I really want to play this game do I want to buy that little uh, fairy package up here I forgot where it is here it is three dollars oh my goodness hold on I just saw this it better not always be that price it better always be this price and this is just being like hey you're getting a discount I I can't confirm nor deny this I, I don't know if it's always 77% off Everything that I said in this video still stands, but if it's $15, ugh, too much, too, too much. Um, so more to come on that one. Um, so let's go ahead and end this video off with some summons, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go ahead and do a 10 pool as we do. Open all. No, we're not going to open all. I want to open up these bottles one by one. Got ourselves a Black Bull Assassin. You can swipe it any way you want being all nice and fancy. Got Red Pea Lion. She's just a three star, so she's just gonna be fodder. And I'll show you how fodder works in this game as well. Um, if you played Grand Chase, it'll be very, very familiar. So far, Red Pea Crane. How about I wiggle it down here at the bottom? Do different types of strokes here. Ah, Red Pea Crane again. How about I just kind of rub it here on the side? <laughs> uh, red Pea, who are these Red Peas? There's too many Red Peas. Got ourselves another Sakura, so that's my healer that I currently have. Here is Orang, so I got another waifu cat chick. Oh, a rare, here we go. Yuki, five star, uh, snow princess, Elsa. I like it. Right here in the middle of the waste area, you know that nice little, oh, Yumi. Oh, another cool looking character as well. Very awesome. So those are the characters that I pulled here. Now you guys know my secret. If I use all of my cash shop currency, that might mean that I'm not going to play this game ever again. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. Um, I do have one more ticket though. I do have one more ticket. I should just save it and get 10. I should save it and get 10. 
All right, so uh, that is that. So let's go back over here to the manage screen. And I'll kind of show you how this works. Um, so if you guys want to know how to level up characters, let me give you guys a quick example here. Who do I want to level up? We'll go ahead and level up Aaron here. Actually, let's do our brand new five star. So I'll show you how it works. So when you want to basically make your character even more powerful outside of levels, and this is where I was telling you guys before, it's very Grand Chase-like. So if I click Enhance here, I can basically select all of my one star characters, click Enhance, and I'll have a percent chance, only one percent chance, but I'll have a percent chance to make my Yuki a plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, and that makes her more powerful. I don't actually have to pull a duplicate of her. And look at this, I got a plus one of a five star character by using a one star scrub. That's actually pretty cool. And you also have like these little fail stacks as well. So the more you fail, the more your enhanced success rate goes up. So I think that's actually pretty legit. Um, if we go here and do our two star characters as well, let's see how many we can get out of this. Just click okay, it'll automatically go through. So my brand new character that I just pulled, Yuki is now a plus three. And if I really wanna go crazy, I can take all of those three star characters and do the same exact thing. And I, now she's plus five. So very powerful character right off the bat. And then what I'll do from this point on, um, I'll give her some equipment. Hold on, FG, you're just bouncing all around. Um, I'll do auto equip, oh, wrong character. Auto equip, give her all the gear that she needs. Um, this is gonna be one of those games where if you do have better gear in the future, you do have to either destroy it or pay currency in order to take it off and remove it. So I know some people don't like that. So I thought I would absolutely mention it doesn't always bother me because I feel like the games have to have some type of gold sink or some type of resource sink. So I don't know. I, I, I just let it play out and see how bad it really is. But usually it's not terrible. But there you have it. I thought I would absolutely mention that. Um, so that's that. There is my character. And now what I'm going to go ahead and do, take her to go training here. And then let me enhance my training a little bit. Nope, I'm already at max. I think this is actually going to cap her over, though. Uh, do you want to use the master train ticket and receive training from the Iron Fist Wuhi mentor? So I have a ticket here. Can we? Uh, account level is too low, so I'm not going to get all my experience points out of that. So I'm not going to do that at the moment. Now, basically, like I said, um, I would basically assign her to a mentor and get her a few levels up to the point where I feel like she's comfortable enough to actually be in my lineup. And then, um, yeah, then she'll be in my lineup. There you go. Or I can just auto repeat some older stages and grind her up that way. So that will do it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, once again, my name is FG3000. I got to see what my new character looks like, of course, even though I really won't be able to see her. And that's kind of my, that's my beef. Once again, that's my beef is the fact that you really can't enjoy the characters that you unlock per se, because you're not really going to be able to see them, but I could be wrong. Let's go ahead and try it out. So we got Yuki. She's only level one. Let's see her in action. Let's see if we'll actually be able to enjoy it. Turn turn off continue battle. And like I said, I will be back with another video on this game, covering the in-game mechanics and once I learn a little bit more about it. But if you guys want to know my very early first impressions, definitely worth a download. Yeah, you can kind of see her. She's getting destroyed in the back. <laughs> She's getting absolutely destroyed back there. But there's our brand new Yuki. Five star plus five unit. And down she goes in the very first round. GG. Oh, wait a minute. She's still kicking. Come on, Sakura. Terrible healer, Sakura. Come on. Tsunade has taught you nothing. Anyway, now I'm actually done. Once again, my name is FG3000. I thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.